Hey everyone, hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Wiens. I'm in Montego Bay, Jamaica, but it's Saturday. And Saturday is a very special day because in a place called Lambs River, which is about, I think it's about a 45 minute drive away, there is a family who makes a full roast pig, traditional style. They've been doing it in their family for generations, stuffed with jerk rice. And so today is the day. We're on our way there. We're gonna drive there. We're gonna arrive right as they're pulling the pigs out, the fresh pigs. We're gonna eat. We're gonna share this entire experience all the food with you in this video and we're on our way. All right guys, what up Matt? What up? What up Joel? Time for some pork. <laughs> <laughs> yes Joel. Oh man, dude, so excited for today. Thank you. Is it about a 45 minute drive? It's about a 45 minute drive up to Lambs And the place River. is called Lambs. Lambs River. So we're gonna head from Montego Bay and we're in a parish of St. James and then we're gonna head up to, it's on the border of West Milan, another parish. Okay, so we just pulled up. That was an incredible drive, about 45 minutes or an hour from the center of Montego Bay. But Jamaica is just so incredibly, beautifully lush. And passing through villages, the views of the hills, of the valleys. Um, and here we are in Lambs River. <laughs> this is the square right this here? This is the square right here. Oh, so we're, we're at the, the spot. Right we're at the spot. This is where the pork is gonna come. Okay. And she's gonna serve it right there. Awesome. <laughs> It's 4.25. Matt, what time do they come down with the VIG? At 4.30. 4.30. Awesome, so it's five minutes. This is the town square, and as we're standing around already, people are starting to come, people are starting to gather, cars are starting to pull up in anticipation. Everybody you know here supports. Yeah, yeah everybody okay. supports. Uh, What's also that. awesome is that so many people are regulars here yeah, too, right? Everybody's, everybody's, a everybody's a regular. Everybody comes here. It's like a communal oh, gathering yeah, place. Yeah. And Matt, meeting, it's a meeting spot for everybody to just meet. They start drinking at the bar and then come up come for the pork at 4 30. Yeah. <laughs> Even yours, how many, how many weeks in a row is this? This is my fourth week yeah. in a row. And we've been doing this. I used to do this with my grandfather. Ah, okay. So this is tradition for me as well. You used to come here with your grandfather. Yeah, I used to come here with my grandfather from my Saturdays. And come every Saturday. We'd go to the farm and then come here and have pork after. Wow. So yeah. with like with many people in this area, it's also even a kind of a tradition, yeah, tradition and family oriented part of the family. Part of oh, it's very special to have this opportunity today, and the pig should be coming very soon, very soon, only on Saturdays. Oh, nice. Wonderful. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Respect. Thank you, man. It looks like rose apple. Yeah. Is this what you guys call rose apple? Oh, that's the apple. The this, rose apple have a yellow color. That's what I thought. Oh. Our rose apple have a yellow color to it. Yeah. So we have... Maybe it's a variety. I'm just turn it but it's similar to rose apple. Just yeah, This is yeah. our O-T-E-T apple. Yeah, yeah. O-T-E-T. O-T-E-T apple. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Bless me. Yes. <laughs> oh, man. Hello. <laughs> hello, hello. Max, I'm a friend, Mark. Oh. Hello. hello. So we were in the process of buying those OTE apples, and immediately the car, the car rolled in. We sprung into action. We needed to come across the street. They, so they come with the pig in this brown wooden box and then everybody gathers around and immediately i can smell that aroma of that pig <laughs> yeah the line immediately jumped into place oh, <laughs> Oh, man, you too much. Yeah, no, no, no. 
And then on the inside, the inside stuffed inside is jerk rice, a type of jerk rice. So as soon as she scoops that out, just the aroma, yeah. The pepper in there. The pepper in there, you can be guaranteed it's just absorbed with all of the meat juices. All those pork juices. So she's just scooping it out. You buy it by the you buy it by the pound? Yeah. You buy it by the pound. Oh, that's a big piece right there. Oh, everybody gets their own pan. Everybody gets their own I thought I thought Matt was gonna get us all like all one 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 foil wrapped together, a couple pounds for all of us to share. But nope, Matt is a man with experience. We got yes. <laughs> We're not sharing with each other. We're not sharing with each other. I got we each got our own two pound lunch pack. It's gone. Literally in just like ten minutes. The entire pig is now it's just reduced to like the the juices at the bottom, some stuffing and some rice. Oh, oh, oh. Look at that glass. Oh man. It's glistening in that oh. sun. Oh That's man. First bite. First bite. Oh, that glass. Amazing. Mm. Worth the journey, man. Oh, God. This is amazing. Mm, my favorite. Oh. <laughs> it's gone in 10 minutes. You gotta be here on time. So most people, you can you can take it away, but I don't mm -mm. think it works to take. You it don't away. take it away. Nobody. You have it, it here. You, you eat it hot in your hand, or you put it on a car and start eating on the car. <laughs> I cannot wait to open my packet. That's two pounds of jerk rice and fresh suckling pig. Oh. <laughs> Look at that meat and just the rub and the spices and that skin. Have to begin with that skin. <laughs> Look at that, that's like a that's like a half a foot long piece of skin. And fat and meat on the bottom of it. <laughs> oh wow. Yeah dude. <laughs> that's so crispy. But the fat is so juicy. It's <laughs> just like it's full of flavor. The flavor yeah. is intense. That is pure like pork liquid with crunchy skin. Full of flavor. You taste the smokiness. And the spices. It's kind of like a mix of that bunny with okay. the Pimento, so it's almost a uh -huh. jerk thing that they're That's what I in. taste is the pimento. Yeah, the pimento is a little bit over. cinnamony too. Yeah. Like a hint of cinnamon. Or allspice. Allspice. Oh. Allspice in there. Exactly what okay, I'm bowling up. And this is just the straight meat. Look at just how tender it is. It just strings apart. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Even the meat. <laughs> <laughs> how is the meat? <laughs> how is the meat? <laughs> Amazing. 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 Delicious. Delicious. Yes, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> and that's what's also so cool. It's, it's just like a community of awesome people that show up every Saturday every afternoon for the pork. Mm. And this is this is really like special to lambs. This is only lamb liver, right? Well, yeah. only liver. Don't find this anywhere else. This is history right here. This is traditional. How many generations have they been doing this? Do you know how many generations? I believe it's from their great grandfather coming up. Wow. Yeah. I mean, okay. I, I came here and saw this happening. So, um, Maxan is, I think, third or fourth generation in doing this. Wow. And yeah. that's, yeah, on top of that, they've been doing this, serving the, the suckling pig like this for generations. Wow. In so the same place, too. Hidden family the recipe. Same place, too. Same place right family here recipe. Yeah. Right here in the square. Same that also place. makes it special. Every Saturday, same time. 
anytime. <laughs> yeah. And next up to try the rice. I haven't even, I was so stuck on the pork and the skin and the meat. I haven't even had a chance to try the rice, but the rice is extremely fragrant. Oh, that rice. Oh, I think it's that pimento, that mix of spices, the allspice in there. And it's almost like citrusy as well. And the pig juices and like the fluffiness of the rice as well. It's so fluffy. It's so aromatic. Oh, that's incredible. Like it has actually totally different taste from the, I mean, it's one with the, it's one with the pig, but it has a fully different taste. It's more like citrusy. And actually now that I look closer, what you see in the rice is the scotch bonnet, the chilies in there. And that's what gives it like that sourness and a bit of spiciness as well. The rib, a one bite of rib. You want to try to record? How much is for the pig? Three, four. Are you one? Yeah, well, go the spice on there, the smokiness of the meat, I mean, just how it's so tender and so, like, cooked so that's so juicy. Wow. Are you seeing this? <laughs> Do you hear that? Yes. <laughs> it's Christmas, guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you're just hunting around your 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 takeaway your lunch pack you can just see the spices you see the chunks of the scotch bonnet you see the peppercorns the meat just falls apart it just dissolves into the rice I haven't even used my fork yet I just love that rice. The flavor on that rice. It's like ridiculously fluffy and aromatic. And just dusted, just like coated in the pork fat. The drippings as it roasted. He called it an O-T-E apple. E-T-O-T. E-T-O-T? E-T-O-T mm -hmm. e apple. He called e -T -O -T it E-T-O-T. O-T-E-T apple, you can... Oh, okay. O-T-E-T or E-T-O-T. It's interchangeable. Interchangeable. Whoever calls it whatever they want. Okay. That's awesome. It's interchangeable. So, the perfect way to end this pork feast Saturday afternoon suckling pig generations of pig roasting is to eat. These are the apples that we almost ate before the pig arrived and then like once the pig arrived we sprang into action so forgot all about these but this makes the perfect dessert, the O-T-E-T -E apples. Mm. Immediately upon tasting this, I've had it before, and I know exactly where. In Congo, in DRC, when I was a kid growing up. And I don't think I've had this since. Oh, that brings back memories. Oh, it's so good. It's like rose apple, but different. Like it's more creamy, it's more almost milky, and just unbelievably juicy. Almost like cottony. Mmm. <laughs> oh, I love it. <laughs> so incredibly juicy. What a place. Mm. Mm hmm. Well, this is the perfect way to end a pork pig feast. Thank you very much. Thanks nice to meet you. Thank you so hope much. Hope to see you again. Yes, hope to see you again. Back again Thank man. you. Yeah. <laughs> what an afternoon in Lambs River, Jamaica, in the countryside. Thank you, Matt, for bringing us here. Oh, thanks for coming, man. That was so much fun. <laughs> we met some characters along the way, but really, everyone comes here for the lamb, which was incredibly delicious. With pork. Oh, yes. Pork. Oh, I got mixed up because it's called Lamb's River. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that almost like messes with your mind a little bit. Lamb's River and pork. But they serve pork. You come here for the pork. The pork. <laughs> yeah, that was amazing. We're driving back to Montego Bay from here. Thanks so much for watching this video. Please remember to subscribe for lots more food and travel videos. And there's gonna be a lot more amazing Jamaican food. And so please remember to subscribe and click the thumbs up and also click the little bell icon so that you get notified of the next video that I publish. Thanks again for watching. Good night from Montego Bay, Jamaica. See you on the next video.